In this video, we will discuss about the concept of isentropic flow. The isentropic flow is applicable uh, when um, in, in the flow condition where the isentropic properties is applicable. And then we'll go uh, in the in the next uh, slide. We are going to discuss about what is this isentropic flow and how we can derive the flow equation under that condition. So before we go there, um, let's uh, recall back uh, the uh, thermodynamics of a compressible system. Okay, the total energy of a matter in a closed system can be um, divided uh, into uh, many form, or it is in many form. Okay, uh, first is we call it a kinetic energy uh, by virtue by virtue of its motion. Uh, so when the particle move, actually it uh, it represent its kinetic energy, and then by virtue of the position, uh, the matter has or the gas has potential energy, and then the sum of all microscopic form of energy, like uh, the energy that hold the electron around the the, the atom, is, is uh, one of one of this. We call that as internal uh, energy. For an open system, uh, unlike the closed system, so what is special about open system is in an open system, we allow a mass to go in and go out from the system. We also allow the energy to go in and out from the system. In this case, okay, on top of the three other forms of energy in the closed system, we have additional form of energy which is a flow energy defined by p over rho by combining all of these four so here the total energy in a system is equal to the flow energy plus the internal energy plus the kinetic energy plus the potential energy since we have the definition for the enthalpy equal to uh, flow energy plus uh, uh, internal energy so we can simplify this equation uh, to this form okay so let's try to apply those equation into a system so this illustration gives you uh, uh, a simplified form of the uh, open system where mass is allowed to go in and out energy is allowed to go in and out so if you put all of the equation together so uh, the heat flow in uh, plus the work that flow in plus the total energy contained by the matter that flow in equal to the one that goes out okay the heat goes out work out and the total energy that goes out this is a basic energy balance equation so now we key in every term in the energy equation so basically we substitute at this term with the full term of them we get the universal uh, equation uh, energy balance equation in the open system okay uh, we will use the equation uh, later on but before i move on to the analyzing the system let's uh, recall back what is the isentropic change in ideal gas uh, it start with the definition of entropy given here i don't want to go too deep into this one you can get this information from uh, your thermodynamics fundamental of thermodynamics books or from the, uh, from the lecture this is the definition of the entropy so now uh, we know that for the process that is isentropic mean that the en entropy change equal to zero if the s here equal to zero basically this form is equal to zero and next is uh, we then substitute uh, this uh, the cp de de definition in, in in this form uh, in, in this dh because we know that there is a correlation between enthalpy and cp we will uh, end up with this equation uh, and then if we integrate uh, this equation from point one to point r uh, the term r here will be important in the next slide uh, we then find out the isentropic relationship of a uh, pressure with the temperature. So what will be the relationship between the pressure at point one when the when the 
gas or the flow change from point 1 to point R is entropically. So we can have uh, this relationship. Uh, another one is that uh, from this equation, if you substitute the uh, P equal to PRT over, I, over M, we will find out this equation and when you rearrange this one, we will be able to get the uh, density relationship uh, of a, a, a gas at two different isentropic conditions. Uh, the two, these two relationships will be used to derive the equation uh, in the isentropic flow. Okay, so this is the, uh, I give you an illustration of what the isentropic flow. Okay, so in this illustration, uh, we have uh, uh, one condition which is in the reservoir. We assume that the reservoir is so large and the net flow in the reservoir is equal to zero. Okay, when when you see uh, uh, the, the, the container is so huge, so basically the, the gas just move around. When it's move around, meaning that the velocity, because remember the velocity is a, uh, a factor, so uh, uh, it, the, the, the velocity will be uh, equal to zero because it just move around uh, a point, uh, around a small space. Um, so we can then assign the reservoir has a velocity of reservoir here equal to zero. Uh, this, uh, since the velocity equal to zero, uh, so uh, this condition here is uh, often referred to the stagnation state. And now imagine the gas at high pressure here move to another receiver here through a valve. Okay, through a valve. Uh, so here, the valve is short, uh, uh, and uh, we make a few assumptions here. Uh, the flow is steady, uh, and then the flow is one-dimensional, so it's just from this direction to that direction. Uh, since this is short, uh, then we can ignore the friction. So there is no friction in this type of flow because it's just a flow through a nozzle. Uh, there will be no soft works. Mm. Uh, for gas, we can ignore the impact of the gravity because it's so small. And uh, again, the fluids, uh, the fluids in, in this condition, we assume uh, uh, obey the ideal gas, where then the CP and CV and thus K values uh, at this condition is this condition, uh, at this condition is the reservoir uh, uh, in the condition of the nozzle is, is constant. So next, uh, we are going to apply the energy balance equation. So this is an illustration of the isentropic flow. Remember the reservoir here, Vr equal to zero. In the reservoir, it has a condition of temperature reservoir, pressure of, reservoir, pressure of the gas in the reservoir, and so on. It moves here from a convergent to divergent, uh, uh, what called a nozzle. Okay, of course here, then the gas flows, uh, we assign here at the velocity of V1 uh, and a temperature 1, a pressure 1, and it also has uh, uh, enthalpy 1 here, the, the, the energy. So we apply the equation we derived before, this is the full energy balance equation of an open system. Yeah, so uh, then we we know that the process is adiabatic, so k equal to zero, k equal to zero, there is no work, work equal to zero, work equal to zero, and the potential energy is negligible, so this term is cancelled, this term is cancelled. Uh, we end up with uh, some simple equation of that uh, that uh, give us the energy balance relationship between the reservoir point to the point number one. And since we know by definition at the stagnation state here, Vr equal to zero, so then the equation can be simplified into this form. And if we now replace this, this form with the CP definition, okay, we will end up with, uh, we, 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 we replace this, this form with this one, we get this equation. And then finally, we end up with the equation that link between what will be the velocity at point one here uh, as a function of the temperature.
okay you have if you know the temperature of the reservoir and if you know the temperature at point one we'll be able to actually predict what will be the velocity of gas that move from the reservoir uh, through the nozzle through the convergent divergent nozzle uh, if you know the temperature uh, at, at, at this condition so um, a previous equation only gives us the correlation between the V when we know uh, the temperature in the reservoir and the temperature in the flow region. Uh, we can uh, actually uh, further develop the equation by uh, you just define the both sides with this term, uh, you will end up and then use the de definition of speed of sound. By doing so, uh, you can then derive, we, I call it here the temperature relationship between the two point, uh, point uh, reservoir and the point where uh, the flow is isentropic. So we get this uh, relationship, relationship, temperature relationship. And then now we apply some of the equation we know for the isentropic ex ex expansion of ideal gas. If you bring in this definition into uh, this equation, uh, you will uh, end up with uh, two additional relationships, which is the pressure relationship that link between the pressure in the reservoir and the pressure in the flow, and the other one is the density relationship that link between the density in the reservoir and the density uh, at point one.